Okay, as far as subject snook goes, the largest fish ever in my boat was a 52 inch snook and it was caught on a bait buster. The second largest fish was a 51 inch snook. It was caught on a bait buster. Uh, this bait on the west coast of Florida is one of the most popular tarpon baits as well. <clears throat> it's got a very big gap in the hook but it's also hollow, so I've got full gap exposure without tearing on plastic. Therefore, on the hook set, you've got full hook exposure on your hook set. So your hook set is excellent, and it allows you to get, you know, with the big gap, you can catch a big fish with it. Uh, this is the traditional deep runner right here. We make it in two different heavier weights that also will go in this body. In addition to that, early on, one of my ones I developed was this, which is a shallow runner. Line entry comes out the nose, lead is in the belly. So this is gonna run super, super skinny. Single hook upright, I just have enough weight in the belly to offset the weight of the hook so that it'll keep it upright. So this is a cast and crank bait or a bouncing on the bottom bait. This here is more of a surface bait, fishing under mangroves, that sort of thing, fishing open water, keeping it up in a shallower water column, sweeping it in a current, as I've discussed before.